How is everyone doing? Good. I hope you. Sorry. Technical difficulty. Um, my name is Ivana Cifuentes, and I'm with Organizing for Action, and we're a grassroots political organization, and we have been working all summer long, coming to the event here outside of the offices of Congressman and Boyd, bringing his attention to me, and the demand for his community to support comprehensive immigration reform with a path to citizenship. So I urge every one of you to get involved in any capacity that you're able to, whether it is joining a phone bank, or whether you want to write a letter to him, or write a letter to an editor of a newspaper, get involved, speak your mind, and ask him to support this because our families need it, our businesses need it, and our community needs it, and I thank you for being here. Thank you so much, Laura. Our next speaker, I want to do here. I just want to say that we have been working uh, for uh, for immigration reform with a pathway to citizenship. Porque sabemos que una reforma una reforma migratoria va a ayudar mucho a la economía de este país, pero desafortunadamente los congresistas no no quieren ver eso y no quieren tomar el tema. Because we know that immigration reform will be benefit. Uh, will benefit our economy, but unfortunately, our leaders don't want to see that. Nuestro local ha perdido más de 2,000 trabajadores, desafortunadamente por auditorías, auditorías de migración. No, Okay. We have lost many, many workers due to um, revisions by ICE. 
Ahorita desafortunadamente nos volvieron, nos volvieron a atacar a, a, a nuestra industria y ahorita hay una auditoría en San Diego. Recently, um, ICE um, did a, a, revi a revision of our workers, and, and so that's unfortunate. Uh, por eso estamos aquí, no para pedirle, porque ya le venimos a pedir, ahora le venimos a exigir al congresista Elruiz para que apoye a un camino a la ciudadanía. We come here again to tell him and to remind him that we do need an immigration reform for all. Thank you so much. And next we have another letter from a young woman living in this area. Dear Representative Royce, my name is Jin Ku. I came to the United States with my family over 10 years ago. We settled in Southern California and called it home ever since. This is where we built our lives for the past decade and it is the only home we know. I currently work at a small restaurant and my wife works at a small convenience store. We don't have much, but we do our best to provide for our family. We have two sons. One is a senior in college and the other a senior in high school. I applied for legal permanent residency status many times, but it has been very difficult. However, what was more difficult was telling our children that they are undocumented. As a parent, I feel like I should be able to do something to help and protect them. Recently, my, young, my younger son was awarded the National AP Scholars Award. He is very bright and has taken numerous AP classes in science, math, and government. He has maintained an overall GPA of 4.0 throughout high school. He recently applied to 12 colleges and was not accepted to any because of his status. When I look at him and his hard work, I feel like I feel like I have failed him as a parent. With deferred action, both of my children were able to receive their work permits. That was a happy moment for our family. But I still worry about the future and what will happen to them in years to come. Without a pathway to citizenship, we will never be fully accepted. My dream that is that my sons will be able to someday become citizens and continue to build their lives here in America. Sincerely, Jin Koo. Thank you so much. So as you're listening to these letters, they're letters from students and parents and families who just want to fulfill their American dream. And in this area, Representative Ed Royce is not giving us the chance to, to fulfill our dreams. And we want to tell him, give him a message that we want a pathway to citizenship now. And that's why we're here. So next we have another another person who wants to read a letter to Ed Royce. I just have the volume. So I can't hear in the mic. Test, 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 test. Yeah. Okay, you should put your mouth close to the mic. Like, like this, talking like this. All right. Dear Congress member Ed Royce, my name is Julie Kim, and I am a registered voter and a Korean business owner in Brea, California. Due to the broken immigration system, I have been separated from my father for over 10 years. After my father was deported in 2003, I was left to fend for myself in every way. His absence from my life has affected me greatly, and I do not believe that others should suffer the way I did simply because the immigration system is in disarray. For the most part, I try to forget about my dad in his absence, but there are days when a girl needs her father. The first time that I really wished my father was here, it was my 16th birthday. I really wish that he was around to help me pick out my first car. My dad missed my high school graduation. I walked off the graduation stage and went straight home because no one was at my ceremony. My dad missed seeing me graduate from UCLA with honors he never knew that I had to work three jobs as a waitress, tutor, and mall clerk to survive. Last June, my dad missed my wedding. I met the love of my life, but my dad was not there to give me away. Please help end family separation and support a pathway to citizenship. Your community is counting on you. Sincerely, Julie Kim. I hope Mr. Ed Royce is listening up there because the people in his community, they're suffering. Julie, she, she lives here in Brea, California, but she was too ashamed to come out here today. She was brave enough to share her story, but she wants the, her letter to be uh, heard. 
and uh, recognized by Ed Royce. She's a citizen, but she separated from her father for over 10 years. And it's just not fair to do that. That's not the American way. And that's why we're here today in front of his office. Next, we have Anna from um, Osceola. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ana Cabral, and I'm an organizer with the Orange County Labor Federation. Um, thank you very much for all being here. I think it shows a great message of how many different organizations are here in support of one big issue. Um, I think on behalf of the Orange County Labor Federation, who represents 96 different unions, which is about 200,000 working families here in Orange County, we want to continue uh, letting uh, Representative Ed Royce know that uh, the message is and will continue being that the time is now. We need a uh, roadmap to um, comprehensive immigration reform for the 11 million aspiring Americans, and we're not going to stop until something is done. Uh, so thank you, and, and you know, fight on. Thank you. Hey, buenas tardes. Muchas gracias por venir. Eh, si usted tiene algo que decirle, un mensaje para el congresista de Boys, que se lo pase de la forma ya. Estamos esperando. Estamos muy cansados. Tiene alguna historia que compartir y tiene un mensaje para el Boys. Por favor, véngase para aquí adelante para para y comparta su mensaje. Eh, entonces le invitamos a que venga y comparte su mensaje. Ajá. So if you, uh, we would like to invite everyone, everyone who is here, if you'd like to share your message. If you have a message to tell Ed Royce, Ed Royce, please pass immigration reform. We are tired of waiting. We, want, we need immigration reform for families. If you, have, uh, if you have a message, please come up here and share the message with everyone. That would be great. Thank you. So if you guys are too shy, let's all sing, a, sing another song together, OK? Yeah. Instead, I learned otherwise. Throughout my graduate studies in the United States, I learned more than has to be done. Not just interpersonal support of those living in the shadows, but on a much larger scale. Policy should be created not to create more burden for the burdened, nor oppression for the oppressed, but in pursuit of fairness and justice, and equal opportunity for those who simply wish to carry out their lives like immigrants of past generations. I believe that each individual, I believe that each individual life is valuable if not their friends and family, but to the community in which one resides. In the space that a person has come to call their home, I believe he or she should be able to live with integrity regardless of their gender, status, race, sexuality, or disability. I continue to fight today in support of more equal America and South Korea by engaging in projects such as KRC's Immigrant Rights Project, which pushes for comprehensive immigration reform, Education Justice Pro Project, which provides higher education for incarcerated peoples. Thank you so much, Nick. Anybody else that would like to say a few words to Representative Royce today? And you know the one thing, and we, the candles that we have. They look kind of silly because they're plastic, but it's but it, we chose those with meaning because they don't burn out. So we have these, we're here as, as a vigil with candles that don't burn out. So they're meaningful, not just silly, okay? Oh, well, I just want to say to him that, um, that we are God's children just as he is uh, a son of God. And the same God that created him created us. And we are created in his image. We are created um, by the, with the same dignity, and we deserve the right to 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 go and 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 follow happiness and pursue happiness. That was the initial foundation, like one of the ideas um, that um, of of our of our country, of our founding fathers, and and when when the country started, um, the the first pilgrims that came here, they came with no paper. They were technically undocumented. There was no document that they used to enter the country. And so we are here, um, uh, we, and we came here uh, just as they did, with just a dream and, and, and the belief that we should, we should follow God uh, where, where, wherever he takes us. Um, and so I pray for, for all of his children. And, and so um, hopefully one day we can all realize that we are, we are one. And, and so uh, even 
um, to those who are currently against us, we want to let them know that we love them. Um, we see them, the, the, uh, an image of our God, and hopefully they can see us as an image of Him too. So we love you guys. Does anybody want, else want to say something? In Spanish, you can say it in Spanish too. Hi, Master. I'm going to be, uh, be reading a letter on behalf of one of our friends. Uh, Dear Congressman Ed Royce, my name is Jerry Draco, and I immigrated to the United States 14 years ago with my mother and father. Following a severe economic crisis in my home country, my family took a huge leap of faith in coming to the United States in order to invest in my future. For 14 years, they have toiled and worked tirelessly so their transition to America would not have been in vain. During these years, my family lost our immigration status. My family struggled to survive day and day and month by month. While we were becoming more and more acclimated to this country, the American system denied any attempts we made to adjust our status. My family came in pursuit of the American dream, but we were relegated to living in the shadows, as there were no pathways to naturalization for them in the current immigration system. My family struggled to put me through college without any financial assistance. In the vast land of opportunity, my parents strived to create one for their only son. However, their efforts were not enough. They were still living concealed lives in fear. Following the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals approval, I was at least given temporary status. However, my family can still be deported at any time. Please allow families such as my own to have a chance to become citizens. Sincerely, Jerry Coe. So thank you everybody for being out here. We're going to close in our last song. And as we do, if you could gather in the in the middle, and Esther is going to put our candles in the number 11, which symbolizes the 11 million undocumented people that are aspiring aspiring citizens. We're fighting for our children, and we shall not be moved. We're fighting for our dreams, we shall not be moved, just like a tree. Planted by the water, we shall not be moved. No, 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 Just like a tree that's planting by the
Can anybody say 